In this video, I'll go over backing up a personal computer using Synology's C2 Backup, which is Synology's cloud-based backup solution. I'll specifically cover using C2 Backup for individuals, which allows you to backup Windows PCs, Mac devices, and Microsoft OneDrive data. The advantage of using C2 Backup is that you can back up your personal computer directly to the Synology C2 Cloud without the need of having a Synology NAS as an intermediary. This is great if you have a laptop that you would like to back up, but aren't always in the same location as your NAS. This also provides you an offsite backup of your data if you would like to keep in line with the 321 backup strategy, providing the one offsite copy of your data. For details on the 321 backup strategy, using Synology's various tools and services. Check out this video listed here on screen, which I'll link to in the description below. Also, if you are interested in backing up the data on your Synology NAS to the C2 Cloud, you could do so by using Hyper Backup and C2 Storage, which I covered in this video listed here on screen, which I'll also link to in the description below. For C2 Backup, which we'll be setting up in this video, I have an affiliate link that I've listed in the description below that you can use to sign up that provides you up to a 60-day free trial of the service. Now, I'll walk through the steps that you will need to go through to set up C2 Backup to back up your personal computer. First, you'll need to bring up Synology's C2 Backup for Individuals webpage and click on Get Started to sign up for a Synology account. If you already have a Synology account, you can either click on the sign in option from the initial page we were on or click on the already have an account link on this sign up page. In my case, I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and sign in. Note that if you use the affiliate link that is listed in the description below, you'll be presented with this 500 gigabytes for $34.99 a year subscription offer. I'd encourage you to sign up for this plan unless you need more storage because as of the recording of this video, Synology is providing a special offer of a 60-day free trial when you do sign up. If, however, you would like to sign up for either a monthly plan or a larger storage plan, you can still do that, but you'll just get a 30-day free trial of C2 Backup. Also, during the setup process, you'll be prompted to create or enter your C2 encryption key. This key is used with all C2 services, so make sure not to forget it. You'll also get a pop-up window that provides you with your recovery code that you'll need to save as well. Remember, if you do lose or forget both the C2 encryption key and the recovery code, you won't be able to restore your backups, so make sure to save both and keep them handy when you do need to access any C2 service. I'll also link to Synology's C2 Backup Quick Start Knowledge Base article in the description below, which covers the entire setup process to get started with C2 Backup. In my case, I've already signed up, so I'll cancel this subscription step and I'll continue through the setup process where I'll be backing up a PC using C2 Backup. At this point, I'm connected to my Windows 10 PC, logged into my Synology C2 account, and I'm on the C2 backup page. Here, I can do various things, including manage my subscription, update and or create a backup policy, as well as set up a cloud backup of OneDrive. However, in the case of this video, I'll be setting up a backup of the system that I'm currently logged into so I'll switch back to the on-premises listing, make sure personal computer is highlighted, and click on add device. Here, I'll download the Windows 64-bit installer, launch the application, and run through the C2 backup setup wizard. I'll take the default options as I run through the wizard and launch the C2 backup application when finished. Now I'll run through the setup of the C2 backup application log on to my Synology account that I use to subscribe to C2 Backup, and once everything is set up, click Done, then OK on this pop-up window to start up the backup process for my Windows 10 PC. 
we can now see that the backup is starting up from the web interface as well as from the taskbar when I click on the C2 backup listing. I'll let the backup complete and when done, we can have a look at the various restore options that are available. My Windows 10 PC has successfully been backed up and now let's have a look at how we can restore data from C2 backup. The first option I'll cover is doing a file level restore by bringing up the recovery portal. I'm prompted to enter in my C2 encryption key to mount the backup data, so I'll do that here, then click confirm. You can use the version timeline to select a specific date you want to restore a file from. Then navigate to the location of the file you would like to restore, select it, then click on this link here to download the file to the default location set from within your browser. Note that because the C2 recovery portal is accessible through the web, you could also use the portal to restore files to another PC if you just need a copy of a file, which is a convenient feature. The second recovery option that C2 Backup provides is the ability to restore your entire device or a bare metal restore. For this restore option, we'll need to create a C2 backup recovery USB drive or ISO file that will be used to boot up the device that you would like to restore the backup onto. Here I'll download the Windows C2 backup recovery media creator, extract the files when the download is completed, and run the Launch Creator application, which brings up this window here. In my case, I'll create an ISO, which I'll save to my desktop. Then I'll click Create and select Download from this pop-up window to download the Windows Assessment and Development Kit, which is required to create the recovery media, then run through the installation process. When done, I'll click Close, then click Create once again to create the recovery media. Once the recovery media is ready, I'll click Finish, and now I see the C2 Backup Restore Media ISO on the desktop. Now I'll close these windows, log into DSM, and upload the ISO file to the administrator account that I'm using. Once the upload is completed, I'll shut down the PC I'm on because what I want to do is a bare metal restore on the Synology NAS I uploaded the ISO file to. From a browser window on my MacBook, I'll log back into DSM, bring up Virtual Machine Manager, and create a Microsoft Windows VM where I'll be restoring the Windows 10 PC that was backed up using C2 Backup. I'll give the VM similar specs to what the PC had and from this other settings window, point the ISO file for boot up to the C2 Backup Restore Media ISO file that was uploaded earlier. I'll then assign power management permissions to my administrator account and finish up the setup. After the VM is created, I'll power it on, then click on Connect to bring up the web console which eventually comes up to this C2 Backup Recovery Wizard window. Here, I'll click Start, then I'll verify the new VM and log in with my Synology C2 account. I'll also enter in my C2 encryption key so I can access my backups. Once those initial steps are completed, I'll see my Windows 10 PC backup, so I'll select the device, then click Next. From this Select Restore Mode window, I'll select Entire Device Restore because I want to restore the entire PC as a VM on my Synology NAS. I'll then click Next, select a version I want to restore, then click Next once again. On this Restore Summary window, everything looks to be fine, so I'll again click Next, approve the changes that will take place from this pop-up window, and click OK. Now the restore process of the entire PC will start up and I'll pause the video until this step is completed. The C2 backup took a little over an hour for my Windows 10 PC to be restored to Virtual Machine Manager on my Synology NAS and I'm at this window here 
where I'll click on Finish to proceed. This brings up a pop-up window letting me know to remove the recovery media before restarting, so I'll switch over to Virtual Machine Manager and unmount the C2 Backup Restore Media ISO. I'll then switch back to the VM Web Console and click on Restart. Now the VM will restart and Windows will get the devices and system set up. When done, the normal Windows login screen will appear where I was able to log on successfully. It looks like the bare metal restore worked great in my case, and I hope you get the same results as well. Also, if you would like to back up the data from your Synology NAS to Synology C2 Cloud, check out this video listed here on screen. Lastly, if you would like to support my work, check out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.